Hi, this is Mark Green at Short Sale Operations, and today I wanted to speak to you about something that's happening uh, with short sales after they're approved. It's getting more and more difficult to get short sale extensions. In other words, once the deal's approved, they maybe give us 30 days to close, 40 days to close, and if we need more time to close, it's getting harder and harder and harder to extend that time period. One of the reasons, I believe, is that the values are beginning to turn around and starting to go up. It's becoming more of a seller's market, and for that reason, the banks want to redo the valuations more quickly and see if there's any more money in it for them. So uh, unless we have a good reason uh, that we need the extension, usually what happens is they go back and they want to start over, and a lot of times the results the second time or that they come back and they want more money for the short sale. And I'll tell you, that's awfully difficult to tell a buyer that's already been waiting for a few months, got an approval, and then it expired, and they came back, and now they have to pay more money for it. What's the answer? Well, the most important thing to do is if the buyer's getting financing, be sure that they go with a company that can work hard to get that mortgage approved so we can close within the time period of the short sale letter. Also, we want to get going on the title right away. I uh, want to give them time to clear the title. If it's a condo, you want to get the buyer approved with the condo association. In a nutshell, what we want to do is work hard, hit the ground running on the first day of the approval, and try and get it through just as quickly as we can so that we can ensure a successful closing. This is Mark Green at Short Sale Operations.